Hello, this is Zeno, and welcome to a video. This video will be showing you how to add audio to your VR chat dances or uh, emotes that already exist. So we'll start off with uh, going into your VR chat SDK, and you'll go to examples, example as, and then animation. You will go to a custom override empty. You'll see that because that will have all your animation clips for your certain emotes or gestures. So we don't want to ruin this one, so we'll click uh, Control D. And now we have our second. Hold on. We should move this one to the assets. And let's move it to the assets so we can mess around with it. So if you wanted sound, we'll have to do this differently. but for if you have any other emotes that you want to do, like uh, let's say want to do I just said Disco Fever you'll go back to the assets click on the one custom that we wanted go to dances and then where is that again? Disco Fever and we drag it into the for first emote right here and then to get your character to actually do that you have the animator right here you put it in the controller and the custom standing finally the override empty and this it. okay so if you were here for the emote and adding audio and stuff like that I'll be starting this now so you will edit your avatar you'll go into the armature go to the hips once you get into the hips uh, you add audio and, and you add an audio source so I'll be changing these according to this you go to priority have it usually at zero this I have at 0 0.3 because that's like a regular volume that you'd want. For your max distance, you have 0 out of 15, so you're not going to crazy levels. And for this, you don't really need it. I just usually delete it. Okay, don't forget to always have play on awake right here, though. Okay. So let's say... We wanted this sound right here. You have to get an MP3 or OGG file. You drag it up, drag it up to your audio clip, and let go. And then now we have the sound that's located in the character right here. And right after that, we can duplicate it. And that song was sound was Disco Fever. So you can name it either animation, disco, whatever you want. Okay. So now that we have it as disco, uh, you want to untag this so nobody could see see it when it's actually there. In your audio source, you want to keep that normal. Okay. So for your second, you want to get rid of this right here. You get rid of your controller. And you find the emote that you want to replace it with, which is the Disco Fever. So you would drag it on to up here. And it should create a little animator thing right here, right next to your thing that you want to have. And then your controller should be exactly right here, right here for your controller. And then to actually have your animation start, you go up to Window, Animation, scroll down. To hit the bottom, you go to Add Property, Armature, and in the hips you should have your sound your audio source, and then you activate this. And you don't go any further unless you want two emotes. If you want two emotes, you go back to the same thing. You go in audio source, audio source again, 
and play on awake. You have to have play on awake for this. Once you're done with this, you go back up here and untag, untag your audio source. You just need that disco. And it should, if you make a second emote, it should be able to play different songs for each of the emotes. You have to do the same exact thing that I did over again. You cannot duplicate this. Do not duplicate it. Okay, thank you for watching this video and hopefully you were able to get your emotes working with different sounds. Thank you and have a great day.